In the previous clip, we used Cubase to import audio from a CD and convert it into a digital file that we can use to open up in Recycle. Now let's go ahead and open up these files and let me show you how to chop up these files in preparation to use them in a track in Reason. Okay, here's the raw digital files that we extracted. The ventriloquist talks. Let's open these up. It's probably best, uh, you could try the sensitivity slider since these aren't really transient sounds, drum hits, so to speak. Uh, but it may see the separation between words. Let me audition these areas. Word two, maybe low, high. I can use a pencil tool to separate these words, low and high. Let's see what else we have. Or tour. The notes, the notes, the notes, low, high. The notes, low, high. The notes or tours as they are pitched and sometimes a little plaintive. Billy is a roller canary. These samples are so random. Uh, once you separate the words and Low, high. splice these up, keep in mind that each of these slices will be mapped to a key on your keyboard. So you could actually trigger this from your keyboard. Low, 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 high, 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 low. And we'll set the locators to define where we want this to start and end. By shift clicking here, we'll set the left locator. Apple clicking here, we'll set the right locator. The program was designed to chop up beats. So if you try to save this, it's going to ask you for how many bars there are between the locators. But we're not going to be dropping this to track as a loop. We'll be re-triggering it as an instrument. So the amount of bars that you enter is inconsequential. You can enter one, that's fine. And we'll create a new folder for this. Now I'm using Apple W to close that and Apple O to open up our next sample. Top side. One. One, two, three, three. Use the mute tool to remove this slice here. Three. That's really all I need, so I'll set my locators. Here's my right locator, and I'm ready to save. Apple W to close, Apple O to open the next one. Let's see if the sensitivity slider helps us out here. Okay, set the locators around those hits. May want to grab a little bit more of this and we'll save that. On to our next sample. It is my it is my privilege to pre privilege to present it is my it is my it is my let's split that up a little more with a pencil tool. It is my my privilege to present privilege to present privilege to present to present present to you a unique to you a unique to you a unique personality personality I'll bring this back a little bit personality personality let's just grab that on to the next sample Menina bonita, pra onde é que você vai? Menina, menina, menina. So I'm moving the slices around using the pencil tool to create my own slices. Menina bonita, 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 pra onde é que você vai? I can use a mute tool to eliminate some of these. Menina bonita, pra onde é que você vai? Could also use the lock tool in this situation to lock these slices in place and pull the sensitivity slider back and eliminate some of those other slices. Bonita, pra onde é que você vai? Você vai. Let's just get this. Menina bonita. Vai, vai, vai. Set the locators and save that.
There we go. That's basically the process. Um, now let me show you in the next clip how to bring this into a Dr. Rex loop player and possibly use these samples out of context to create something interesting.